Is it possible to shoot a professional style video using just your iPhone? Well, that's the question that was posed to me just a few days ago. And I plan to prove that it's possible in this video. But yeah, man, just want you to watch the video and just kind of just tell me what you think. For sure, can't wait to see it. All right, let's do this. All right, man, I'm ready. See, a couple of weeks ago, someone reached out to me and asked me, Brandon, what is the best camera to buy when you're just getting started? And honestly, I said that the best camera to purchase is the one that you can afford because pretty much all cameras are good today. But they rebuttaled with, well, really, I just have my phone and that's all I really can afford at this time. To which I said, that's totally fine. That can get you by. And then they hit me with something that I didn't want to believe was true, but it's absolutely true. See, on YouTube, you've probably heard from your favorite creator that gear doesn't matter. But then that same creator will turn around and be using the best gear on the market at the time. And this is something that really rubs people the wrong way. So I kind of took this as a personal attack. So here's the challenge. So to prove to this person that you can just use your phone, I want to shoot an entire sports ad using just my iPhone. No drones, no GoPros, just the iPhone sensor. I'm allowed to use accessories in order to get a little bit more out of the iPhone, but everything has to be captured directly to the iPhone sensor. And to gauge how well I do this, I actually asked three of my good friends to tell me what they think about the video when it is done. I will not be telling them that it was shot on an iPhone and I'll be waiting to hear their responses based on the video that they see. And I'm gonna leave myself open to the critiques that they give me based on the video. Okay, so here's the plan for the video. So if you spend any time on Instagram stumbling through amazing editors, you might have come across Lobo Films or Carlos. Carlos is a real name. He's an amazing sports videographer and editor, and so I decided to try to replicate his style with my commercial being shot on iPhone. I also reached out to him to see if he would be someone who'd be willing to actually check out my video when it was all said and done, since we do have a sort of cordial online friendship, and he was game. So now with inspiration locked in, my friends ready to critique my video when it's all said and done, and my gear ready to go, it was time to shoot. Now I knew in order to get the best product out of the iPhone, I was gonna need a few minor accessories, and so I decided to go with the Shift Cam system. Shift Cam not only makes a set of lenses for the iPhone, but they also have an actual Pro Grip, which I found to be perfect for this shoot. I wanted to do most of my shots handheld and keep my movement pretty quick. However, holding the iPhone can be very awkward at times. So by putting it into a grip made it much easier to hold the phone and be able to get more precise movements. Now, just like with any video I try to shoot, I try to have somewhat of a plan going into it. However, with this one, it was really about walking around and seeing what I could get with these different lenses. I found myself gravitating to their tele lens more than any other lens in the kit. I love the natural compression that it gave to the footage. It allowed my subject to sort of get some decent bokeh without having to use like the fake cinematic mode which I was afraid would actually give away the fact that I was shooting on an iPhone. Now while I was filming on the iPhone one of the things that I noticed that was actually giving away the fact that this was iPhone footage was just how high the shutter speed was. See with most iPhones whenever you're shooting with the native app the phone manually makes adjustments to your exposure and one of the things that the iPhone does notoriously is it over cranks the shutter speed. This takes away pretty much all motion blur and can start to make your video look like it was shot on a phone. So it was nice to find that there was a variable ND filter inside of the kit which allowed me to set my shutter speed to exactly what I needed for video. Now when it came to being able to dial in my perfect exposure I needed to use a professional style app. Now there are a couple different ones that you can go with. Moment has one, Beast Cam has one, and there's even Filmic Pro. For this case I went with the Moment app but it was also really nice because since I was using these additional lenses I was also able to manually control which camera on the iPhone I was actually going to be using so that way I could put my lens on that specific camera. For pretty much this entire video, I tried to stick to using the main camera and just using the shift cam lenses in order to get different perspectives. Now, if you are interested in checking out these lenses that I showcased throughout this video, you can definitely check out the links down below in the description. Shift cam is a fantastic company. They have fantastic gear and their lenses go more than just the telephoto and the wides. They also have anamorphic lenses. They even have specialty lenses such as macro lenses. And then of course they have filters for these lenses as well. And the thing I like about them is that everything works 
perfectly well and it is built amazing. So if you guys are interested in checking out the shift cam lenses, I'll have those linked down below in the description along with a link for that pro grip because for me personally, that's one of the best accessories I've ever seen for the iPhone, especially when it comes to photography and video. Now, when it comes to trying to emulate the Lobo style, I noticed that a lot of his shots were very short and he played a lot with different frame rates and slow motion. So I decided to shoot most of my stuff at 60 frames per second in 4K. This would allow me to slow down some shots later on in post. It also allowed me to get some highlight movements by even going higher in my frame rate. So at one point, I actually put my camera at 120 frames per second. So that way I could get this really nice slow motion shot. Now, Apple has gone a long way into building stabilization directly into the iPhone, to which I actually think does a really good job. However, there were a few shots that had direct movements that I wanted to get that I knew I wouldn't be able to pull off handheld. The built-in stabilization is really nice, but whenever you're moving really fast, fast and your ability to do like those sweeping movements it's just easier to do those more like cinematic quote unquote like camera movements with the gimbal and this is where i paired the iphone with the weeble 3s from zhuin and this thing is a massive update from the original See, the original Weeble 3, which I reviewed on this channel, was fantastic. However, this new version actually has fixed most of the things that we were kind of complaining about with the original Weeble 3. For example, it's easier to adjust the wrist rest. Also, if with that side handle, you can now swivel it out to the side, which makes it much easier to do a two-handed setup. And the nice thing is that with the Shift Cam Pro Grip, it actually has a quarter thread underneath the bottom of it. So I was actually able to mount the handle directly to the gimbal. And this was really great because since I was running the shift cam pro grip along with the lenses, this wouldn't be able to balance on your traditional cell phone gimbal. So the nice part about having the Weeble 3S was the fact that I could balance this entire system on there and continue to shoot on my phone and really get some unique shots that otherwise would have been more difficult to pull off. Now, another big benefit of using external lenses on the iPhone was it allowed me to shift perspectives throughout the video. The benefit here was that everything wouldn't look like it was just shot with a single lens, which is pretty standard when shooting on an iPhone. I found myself switching quite a bit from the wide angle lens to the tele lens. That way I could get some diversity in my shots. You know, it took quite a few hours in order to actually pull this whole project together, but when it was all said and done, I was honestly really happy with the shots that I got, but I knew the hard work was just starting because so much of this video was going to fall on the edit. Now, as I mentioned before, I had my friends that I knew were going to actually try to pick this video apart, and so I needed to be able to edit it in a way that they wouldn't be able to tell that it was iPhone footage. Now, one thing that I tried to do with this video was I tried to color grade the footage in a way that made all the shots look about the same so ideally what i did was i went to my worst shot i color graded that one and then i colored all of the other ones to match also for this video i decided to go really really heavy with the sound design sound design is where you add in special effects sounds to actually amplify your video overall and the benefit here is that if people start enjoying the video because they are hearing different sound effects they're seeing different editing effects they will slowly stop thinking about what camera shot this and just start enjoying the video but after hours and hours of editing it was time to show lobo the actual video itself now for me i was a bit nervous about this because the truth is is not only did i use his style to edit it but i also purchased his sound pack and used his sound effects in this video in order to sound design it so there was going to be a lot of his inspiration in this video and if anybody was going to try to pick it apart it was absolutely going to be him i was just hoping he wouldn't be able to tell that it was shot on iphone but it was time to show the video off to my friends all right man i'm excited for you to check it out all right man i'm ready for sure for sure can't wait to see it all right let's do this Look, my stats getting bigger and bigger Look, i shoot the j like i'm jigger uh, y'all said he worried about y'all figure uh, i'm worried about getting figures uh, y'all feeling yourself that's a quick fix i inspire y'all boys to begin with so please help me don't get it twisted because i set the table like pig uh, give me the play i'm like 10 i'm leading the game it's like 10 my favorite scripture proverbs 10 i so now i'm reaping like 10 but i can't do this on my own yeah me christ on a daily for we're out of my life is limited uh, can't settle for brown i won't go that was good work man i liked it nice that was sick bro let me watch that back one more time real quick i like it 
I like it. Sound design's on point. Music choice too. Uh, so sick, bro. Yeah, it was, it was it was dope, man. What's crazy is that entire video is actually shot on iPhone. The whole thing. Really? <laughs> oh, I wouldn't have guessed that. No way. For real? Yeah. Yo, <laughs> I wouldn't have guessed that, bro. I got to get back in the fitness shooting game. So we all was wrong. I guess everybody that guessed what that was was all wrong. I like it. And, it was, and like you got it like right in a tempo where like where it's supposed to end, it ends. You know, the responses were actually super interesting. I might as well just throw this away, man. Just, just get rid of this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and just rock with a cell phone. <laughs> this is just a testament to people that like are starting off in video production that there's tons of athleisure companies yeah. that would love and would happily pay for content just like that. And they would probably ask you for a lot of it too, right? You don't need the craziest equipment, you know? Like you just gotta have a little bit of a vision and, and, uh, and, and execute it, you know? And this is how it should be when it comes to creating video. You should be focused on the edit and the story and people shouldn't be overly analyzing the image quality if you're doing a good job at telling a story throughout your video. But there you have it. It is possible to shoot a professional style video using just your iPhone, something that brands would actually be interested in posting on their social media and potentially paying you for. Now, in order to help keep this video from being too long, I can't go over all of the techniques and strategies on how to shoot better video with your iPhone. However, if you are interested in that, you can definitely check out my video guide that'll be linked down below in the description.